There are some songs, like some singers, which, against all the odds, survived the 60s and carried on thriving. Des Coleman tells the story behind one such song, which over four decades has been covered by many of the greats and became the theme tune for a classic sitcom too. Recognise that? It's Handbags and Glad Rags, written back in 1967. It's had dozens of interpretations by the biggest stars ever since. Ever see a blind man cross the road Trying to reach the other side Ever seen a young girl growing old Trying to make herself a bride Oddly enough, the one successful singer who didn't have a hit with it was the man who wrote it, Mike Darbo, former lead vocalist of Manfred Mann. During his time with the band, he also wrote songs for other artists, including chart topper Chris Farlow. Uh, Chris Farlow was a great soul singer, still is by the way, and this is about 1967, and he had just come off a number one record called Out of Time. And so I was asked to be his producer and I sang him the song, he said, I've got to do it. The handbags and the glad rags that your granddad's had to sweat so you could buy. I was asked also if I'd produce a young, unknown soul singer called Rod Stewart. <laughs> so I played Rod the same song and he immediately fell in love with it. Once I was a young man. Chris Farlow got in first and had a top 40 hit, but Rod still wanted to do it his way. And he knocked on my door about 18 months later. Rod, how are you? How are you? He said, look, I've got great news. I've got great news. I've got my album deal. So I can now do the song. I said, yeah, when do you want to do it? He said, I've booked a studio tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Not only that, but he wanted Mike to completely rearrange the song. I want you to come up with a woodwind sound that'll be like a counter melody. So overnight, I came up with this. into the phrase. So now Rod was happy. And that night, I worked all through the night, bearing in mind I can't actually write down music, mm. so I had to hire a copyist. And very bleary-eyed, we walked into the studio 10 o'clock the next morning, and we set about doing this, and we did handbags and glad rags in one take. They told me you missed school today So what I suggested just the song's one of Rod Stewart's favourites to perform live. He included it on his Unplugged album, which went triple platinum in America. The Stereophonics loved it too. They recorded the version in 2001. And of course, there was The Office, when the song introduced the man for whom they invented the word disappointment, David Brent. Someone rang me and said, they're using your song for this new TV comedy series called The Office. How did that make you feel then? Um, we're disappointed that I hadn't been contacted, but I did get a chance to ring Ricky Gervais one day. I said, I imagine you chose it because David Brent is a very sad character and is sort of putting his money in all the wrong places, you know, got all the wrong values. He said, no, the reason I chose the song is it's the saddest song I've ever heard. So once you think you're in your Why is it the saddest song, though? The Tell reason me. it's the Tell saddest me. song is because that first image, ever seen a blind man cross the road trying to make the other side. Now, where that lyric came from, I don't know. Inspiration, I, I guess. Ever seen a young girl growing old? Trying to make herself a bride. I didn't know really what I was writing, but I knew that there was a message in here for a beautiful girl who thought that the whole key secret to life was having the right clothes, the right accessories. And the message is, you know, what becomes of you, my love, when they've stripped you of all these yeah. things? You're nothing, yeah. you know, so you're really trying to... Uh, yes, it's an impassioned song. Yeah. I think it's the best song I've ever written. I'm, I may never write as well-known a song again. So this will probably be my sort of obituary, my calling card, the, th the epitaph on, on my gravestone, handbags and glad rags, and I'll settle for that. 
There we go, Mike Dabo. You know he also wrote Build Me Up Buttercup? I think Love we all song. agree, though. His finest work came in a TV advert. What a genius to come up with this little song. It's full of every goodness, but very small and neat. A finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. Oh! <laughs> I haven't heard that for years. Young again. <laughs>